All right, in this short video, I want to go over how to um, go into your retirement funds and set up a uh, insert statement that will uh, insert your monthly uh, price and quantity of each individual stock. Okay, so we're, we're in our retirement funds. We go to detail, and then for our account, we go within inside our account, we go within our individual accounts. And then we look at our funds. Now, what I'm talking about is notice that here is March's quantity and price, quantity and price, quantity and price. And here is February's quantity and price. Okay. What we want to do is have this button here work. And when we click this button, it actually takes us to the fund detail page. Okay. So this is the fund and detail page. And what we've done is for that account, list all the funds and have a text box for each quantity. So it loops through with a text box. And when we click submit, it's going to go through each of these and it'll insert the symbol, the quantity, the price, today's date, uh, and, it'll, and the account number, which is right here. It'll loop through and insert all of those into the database so that it will add the three lines like this uh, to this table okay so let's take a look and see how that actually is done the, the two pages that we're going to want to look at is the fund detail and the fund class so this is the fund detail page I've scrolled all the way down to the bottom and uh, what we're looking at here is our uh, our table okay so it says enter monthly totals for that account number okay and within the table it says um, we each of our funds okay and then notice that within the table there's a form okay so the form has uh, it's a it's a post and it says go back on this page so if it posts do this information here okay so just like normal okay um, so within this table this is what outputs now when we're looking at the output what is that actually looking like so th this is a table that's the table that we're building and here's the form buttons okay table and form buttons so here's the table and then here's the actual um, rows and, and columns okay so we have our hidden values for the fund ID okay and notice that within that one cell we hide the fund ID the account ID and then those are both hidden as well as the ticker symbol Okay, but we also echo out the ticker symbol. Okay, and then for the input, we're having to two inputs, quantity and price. Okay, and they also have to have these square brackets on them, setting them up as an array. So when you look at actually what's going to happen when you click the button, found this handy dandy little insert. Okay, so we set today's date. Okay, and notice the date format is uh, year, month, and day, so it'll it'll work with our MySQL database. We do a count, and we count how many funds that were there. Okay, so we do a count. Then, with based off that count, we we do our for loop. Okay, and our we we are creating our SQL statement here, and at the end of each time, we run the query. So the first time it goes through, it will run the query. Then the second time it goes through, and the third time, it'll just run the query, run the query, run the query. Okay. And then when it finishes, redirect us back to the account ID. Okay. So that is the, um, the loop that you'll need to do to do the insert. Okay. Now, as far as the fun class goes, um, one of the functions that, is an interesting function is this find fund single and what we where we use that is 
down here in our table, find fund single, we pass in the account ID. And this is where it, this is where we say how many funds are with that are within that account and just return me the ticker symbol. OK, so let's go back to the fund class and it says, hey, select all from fund where the account ID is equal to the ID that we're passing in, but group it by ticker symbol and order by ticker symbol ascending date descending. OK, so that will that way it'll say give me group them all by the ticker symbol. So only return me one row. And really what we're looking for is just the ticker symbol. So we're not looking for quantity price. We could have just said, hey, select the ticker symbol um, so that when we go back to our detail page, really the only one that we're pulling out, I guess we we're also pulling out the fund ID, but really the one that we're pulling out is this fund ticker symbol and displaying it. Okay. All right, that's pretty much it. This I, th I figured this one would give you give, be a little bit tricky because it's got a couple things that are a little bit crazy like this uh, uh, this insert when you have your uh, multiple dynamic table set up doing an insert statement. Um, so if we had five funds, six funds, it would be six or seven. And so it basically it just loops through and inserts one at a time. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, we're almost finished with this project. Keep up the good work. We've got uh, a couple weeks left.